Hey, how's it going? Adrian here with bestformyfit.com. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to review the Irish Setter Ashby Wear Boots. These are the safety toe cap boots. If you don't require a safety toe cap boot, even though I always recommend to have one, uh, even if it's just for kicking things around uh, at work, uh, your feet are much safer with a safety toe cap. But if you don't need one, these Ashby come with a soft toe box as well. And something that's interesting about this uh, Ashby boot is that it doesn't come with a steel toe cap and it doesn't come with a composite toe cap as most war boots out there nowadays. But it comes instead with a aluminum toe cap, which brings you the best of both worlds in my opinion, because it's not as heavy as a steel toe cap is. And also it's not as bulky as a composite uh, toe cap is. So if you're looking for a work boot that has a sleek look to it and also it's safety rated but it's lightweight, then the Irish Setter Ashby is something that you should definitely consider. But anyway, I'm gonna come back to talking about the boot in just a little bit. First, let's have a look at the environment in which the boots are tested in, which is an important uh, thing to know because then you can compare it to your environment and see if the boots are going to be uh, good for you or not. Uh, if you watch the Irish Setter Wing Shooter review, uh, you probably recognize this uh, setup, this environment. That's because my friend Adam is testing both boots, the Wing Shooter and the Ashby, which actually led us to create a comparison article uh, where uh, Adam is sharing the differences and the similarities between these two boots. So if you want to read that, I'm gonna leave you a link in the description to that article. Coming back to the topic, Adam is working mostly indoors with the occasional visit to site. So he's not gonna be exposing the boots to rain, uh, snow, mud, wet concrete, and other things like that that I find in my industry, which is construction. So basically Adam is working in a nice dry environment. Sometimes he's sitting down while he's welding, but most of his shift he's walking or standing at the press machine uh, on flat concrete surfaces. And some of the dangers his boots and of course his feet are going to be exposed to while he's working. For example, sparks from grinding and welding as we said earlier. Uh, objects or tools falling from his table. Uh, loads of sharp objects around the, around the shop like the metal that he's working with. Even the pedal that he's sticking his foot into in order to activate the press machine. So that's kind of the environment uh, that the boots are tested in. Great stuff, let's talk a little bit about the features of these Ashby work boots and I would like to start by uh, talking about the upper. The upper is made with leather that's made in the US, it's called Troutbrook leather and it's made uh, by the same tannery that makes the uh, leather for the Red Wing Heritage work boots. So quality wise we can say that even though this is a boot that costs less than 200 bucks, the quality is there. Fun fact about this leather is that neither Red Wing or Ivory Setter have a name for the color of this leather. So uh, Adam decided to unofficially name this leather Jerky, to which uh, Ivory Setter said in this uh, post on Instagram that it's actually not a bad idea. Moving on, the Ashby features a free floating tank, it's not a gusseted tank as we've seen in other work boots. Uh, and I personally prefer a gusseted tank because of my environment. Uh, a gusseted tank prevents water to come inside the boot, also sand, dirt and other things that I find in my environment. Of course if you work indoors like Adam, this should not worry you, but if you work outdoors, it's something that you should consider when buying this boot. The sole on these boots come with a few good features, as you can see the stitching here under the toe, which helps preventing sole delamination, especially for those of you that kneel a lot, crawl a lot under vehicles if you're a mechanic. And the sole is built in two parts if you want. You have the midsole and then we have the outsole. The midsole is made of uh, something Irish setter likes to call foam rubber, which I think is just another fancy way of saying polyurethane. And this midsole is so, so cushioning, it's so uh, lightweight, which is one of the reasons these boots are so comfortable uh, for so many people, especially for those of you that work on flat, hard surfaces. 
Lastly, on the bottom of this sole, we have a very thin layer of proper rubber, which is supposed to add durability to the sole. Of course, this is not always the case. You always depend on the industry that you're working in. Uh, I've seen some comments related to this topic. For example, some people working in uh, industries where the floor uh, it's unpolished concrete and that unpolished concrete is going to eat very fast into this type of work boots, this type of soles. Uh, I've even seen uh, Iris Setter replying to this customer saying that if that's your industry, then you might need some boots that come with a more abrasive resistant sole, uh, maybe something that has a higher density than these boots. These boots are not lined and I know that some of you like this because fabric lining or waterproof membrane makes your feet sweat a lot, especially in summer. So these are just leather lining. Uh, and this is a perfect segue into the next thing, which is uh, are these boots waterproof or not? And as we do with all work boots that we have, we put this to the test. And the results were pretty clear. He didn't need uh, more than one minute to realize that his socks were completely soaked. So if you need waterproof boots, these are not for you. Maybe check out the Irish Setter Wing Shooter instead. One of the features you will love about these Ashby work boots, especially if you work a job where you need to walk for long distances or you do a lot of mileage, is that these boots are extremely lightweight for uh, a safety wear boot. Weighing just a little bit over one pound per boot, these Ashby Irish Setter Ashby wear boots are one of the most lightweight wear boots you're gonna find on the market. When it comes to sizing, Adam says that the Ashby wear boots fit true to size for him. Uh, the Red Wing foot scanner had uh, Adam's foot measured at 11 and a half. So the 11 and a half boots he bought fit him perfectly. For those of you who want to know where these Irish Setter Ashby wear boots are made, they are made in Vietnam. So after about two months of wearing the boots at the time I'm making this video, Adam has no complaints about these boots whatsoever. In fact, they actually became more and more comfortable and uh, he likes to call them his uh, shop slippers. These Irish Setter Ashby wear boots are going to be a great choice for those of you that work like Adam in a welding shop or maybe you work in a factory, maybe you're a carpenter, maybe you work in a retail store, anywhere that uh, any job environment that has a flat, nice polished concrete surface, that's great. It's not that great as I mentioned earlier if you work outdoors or if you work on concrete surfaces that unpolished concrete surfaces because that's gonna eat into the soles pretty fast. If you have any additional questions about these Ashby wear boots, please let me know in the comments below. I tend to reply within 24 hours. Additionally, you can check out the article. I'm gonna leave you a link in the description to this article that Adam wrote about these boots. It's much more in depth. We have tons of other questions that we answer based on uh, what other people are asking about these uh, boots. So we add that to the blog post. And also we go back to the post every six months or so in order to give you updates on how the boots are holding up. And I'm sure that's very helpful if what you're interested in is uh, the durability of these boots. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Irish Setter Ashby work boots. Please consider subscribing if you think this video was helpful to you in any way. Also, if you like to support the channel, please use the links provided in the description below when it comes to buying your boots. Uh, this is going to give us a small commission at no extra cost to you, by the way. And that's going to help us keep buying boots, keep buying products in order to create genuine content with genuine feedback based on our experience using these products. With that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'm Adrian for bestformyfeet.com. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.